at Accenture, we have uh, created this practice called Industry X, which is about uh, bringing uh, transformation on the both engineering and manufacturing space. And uh, this, is, this is one of our firm's biggest uh, investments in space. We are working with our clients, bringing tremendous investments to really help our clients to accelerate in the journey of transformation, both in engineering and manufacturing. Because we see this as a continuum. It's not manufacturing as a separate existence. It's about the continuity from design to engineering to manufacturing to service. So this is a, this is a tremendous focus in our firm and we are investing, working with uh, leading ecosystem partners, building tremendous amount of accelerators to really see how we can help our clients really drive this transformation faster. I think the, uh, uh, the challenge has always been manufacturing is an industry which, was, which has been there for several decades, right? So embracing and adopting technology has not been easy. So there has to be, there has to be a firm-wide strategy to see how you can really look at uh, adopting digital technologies. It needs to also coexist with an organization change. And I think we have, uh, with our clients and, and with different markets, what we have seen is uh, post-COVID, there has been a tremendous acceleration and there's more willingness for companies to really embrace. So we are now seeing in the last couple of years, we are seeing a rapid acceleration and pace in which companies are embracing. There's a firm-wide strategy that's coming up in terms of how you, you can define your strategy at a, at a firm level and then start looking at your manufacturing sectors, your supply chain, your ecosystem partners, how we can bring all of them together. Because you cannot bring transformation at a silo in one pocket, in one factory. It needs to be done very top down. So what we see is, I think in the last few years, there is a change and there is a willingness to really bring the top down strategy and start executing. And there's a tremendous amount of in return on investments companies are seeing. So, so this is now helping to really see that there is return on investment and starting to see the change. I think uh, technology, as, as you can imagine, is, is really changing at a pace that none of us can imagine, right? So uh, you, we didn't have a year back, no, nobody spoke about generative AI, and today that's talk of the town. And, uh, and the promise for many of these technologies is tremendous. So we believe a lot of the, the, the opportunity for generative AI and technologies like digital twins are going to be immense in manufacturing However, this also has to be aligned to how the firm will adopt as a firm-wide strategy, right? Now, uh, we, we, earlier I was speaking about uh, ability for looking at uh, standard operating procedure in factories. Now, uh, that's, that's going to be of uh, a huge advantage for companies where there are very experienced operators, possibly at, at, the, at the time of retirement or the age of retirement, and there's a lot of tribe knowledge and how do you kind of capture this? And that is where some of these technologies can be of tremendous advantage. You can really get many of these without having to go and create it. The software and generative AI will help you create a lot of this tribe knowledge as operating procedures that you can help and train. And I think uh, with 5G, with digital twins, with a lot of the edge technologies, the, the future is going to be a lot more flexible, adaptive, and we also see that the need for you to invest in a lot of capex in the factories are going to be less. So you can actually work in a very ecosystem play. A lot of partners can come together and you can actually deliver solutions at value without having to invest everything yourself. So the world is becoming a lot more integrated with a lot of ecosystems coming together. Why is going to be a, of, of a great, exciting times ahead? I think this is, this is great. Uh, we have a fantastic set of uh, panelists and speakers, and I think the, the experience that they are sharing, I think it's, it's, it's very, very uh, encouraging to see that uh, the Indian industry is adopting tremendous amount of innovation and uh, technologies uh, to really drive manufacturing. And I think India is going to be really uh, taking a, a center stage in terms of being the leader for many of these manufacturing space. And I think I learned uh, tremendously from interacting to a lot of uh, speakers, a lot of delegates. It's a great experience.